Welcome back future medicos. In this video, I'm going to cover 21 medical colleges that offer MBBS at a fees less than 10 lakhs per year. I'm only talking about the college fees. I'm not covering the hostel and mess fees. The hostel and mess fees, including that it may go more than 10 lakhs, but just the college fees is less than 10 lakhs. Now, these may not be the only colleges in India that offer less than 10 lakhs. There may be other colleges. I'm covering only 21 medical colleges that I am aware of. If you know any other medical college where the fee structure is less than 10 lakhs, please let me know in the comments below. And once again, I'm not covering the government seats in private colleges. In many states, there will be government seats where the fee structure will be less than 10 lakhs. I'm not covering that. For example, you go to maybe like Karnataka, the government seat may be about one and a half lakhs per year. So I'm not talking about that. I'm only talking about colleges where other state candidates can also participate and take a seat. And still the fee structure is less than 10 lakhs, right? So this is mainly for all India students. What are the options available? But of course, you need to take note that getting into these 21 medical colleges is not going to be easy. You need a very high score. It's not that the fee structure is low and your score also low. That's not possible. It's always when the fee structure is low, your score has to be higher. Or if your score is low, generally the fee structure is higher. But I will give you an idea. Look at what is your score. If your score is in the top 100,000 ranks, then you may have a chance in these medical colleges. While initially recording this video, I missed one important medical college which offers zero fees for the college. Zero tuition, zero hostel, zero mess. So I missed this college. So I wanted to include that college also in this video. So that will make the total count to 22 medical colleges at less than 10 lakhs per year. I've included the details of these zero fees college at the end of the video. So continue to watch the video until the end so that you can also get a detail related to that college which offers zero fees for MBBS. So let me start with the first medical college which is CMC Vellur or Christian Medical College Vellur. So this medical college in 2024 is charging 56,330 rupees for the first year fees. And subsequent years, it will be around 26,000 only. So first year 56,000, second year will be roughly 26,000 to 30,000 uh, from second year onwards. Of course, you need to add the hostel and mess fees probably which may come to about 1 lakh. But since I am covering only the college fees, it is about 56,330 rupees in the first year. This medical college offers 50% of the seats to government and 50% of the seats are considered as management seats. For these government seats, only Tamil Nadu students are eligible. Whereas for the management seats, other state students can also participate. But unfortunately, most of them are for Christian students like these 38 seats are given only to students that are recommended by the diocese. These 10 seats are reserved for CMC Vellu staff quota. So if you are a non-Christian, non-Tamil Nadu student, then you have the option only to fight for the two open seats. And these two open seats, the cutoff is going to be extremely high. Probably it may be close to 700 marks this year. Now, in case if you are interested in the government seats, that is, if you are a Tamil Nadu student, you must register with Tamil Nadu Selection Committee. If anyone is competing for the management seats, they should register with CMC Vellur as well as Tamil Nadu Selection Committee. CMC Vellur registration has already closed. So if you have already registered with CMC Vellur, now you also register with Tamil Nadu Selection Committee and you can participate in the counseling for the management seats. So this is my number one college in terms of the fee structure less than 10 lakhs per year. Of course, this medical college, the total fees for the entire course also will come less than 10 lakhs. Now, the second medical college in my list is CMC Ludhiana, Christian Medical College Ludhiana. According to last year fees, I don't know this year what is the fees. Last year, 2023 fees, the first year fees was 6,60,000. But of course, take note that this medical college Every year, the fee increases by 10 percentage. That is 66,000 will increase every year. So first year is 6.6. Second year will be 7,26,000, something like that. And then the third year will be close to about 7,80,000 or something like that. So every year, 
the fees will increase by 66,000. So roughly, if you look at the total cost, it will come to about 35 lakhs. Then you need to add the hostel and mess fees separately. Now, once again here, a lot of seats are reserved for Christian students. You can see that the category two, uh, the seats are mainly for Christian students only. So if you are a non-Christian, non-Punjab candidate, then you can compete only for the five open seats under All India Quota. AIQ, open seats, you can compete. And to compete for these seats, you need to register with Baba Farid University. Um, after uh, they open the registration, you have to register with them. Whereas the Christian candidates, category two candidates, they must have registered with CMC Ludhiana. And also they need to take the Bible test. And in addition, they also have to register with Baba Farid University. And there are certain seats for Punjab candidates are also available. Uh, so this is the second medical college in my list of less than 10 lakhs fees. Then my third medical college is also a Christian minority college. It is St. John's Bangalore. It charges 8,10,000 for the first year. This is the fee for 2024. The first year is 8,10,000. And second year onwards, it will be 7.5 lakhs per year. Now, once again, here, a lot of seats are reserved for Christian candidates, particularly Roman Catholic Christians. So you could see that about 120 seats are reserved for Roman Catholic Christians. If you are a non-Christian, non-Karnataka student, then you can compete under category 1, which is All India General Open Merit. There are 10 seats available here. So you can compete for this. If you are from Karnataka under non-Christian, then you can compete for these 10 seats. Whereas all the other seats are typically Roman Catholic or staff quota seats. If you are interested in getting a seat in St. John's Bangalore, then you need to register with KEA, that is Karnataka Examinations Authority. The last 18 colleges in the list of 21 medical colleges comes Kerala Private Medical Colleges. So I have listed here 18 private medical colleges here. You could see uh, starting from Amala Institute, Jubilee Mission, Malankara Orthodox Syrian Church, Pushpagiri, MES Medical College, Malabar Medical College, Sri Uttradam or SUT Medical College, Sri Narayana, Sri Gokulam, Mount Zion, PK Das, KMCT, Travancore Medical College, Dr. Mupans Medical College, Azizia Institute, Dr. Somerwell Memorial CSI Medical College, Karuna Medical College, Al Azhar Medical College. All these colleges, the fee structure is less than 10 lakhs as per 2023-24 fee structure. Now, there are 15 percentage of seats available in all these medical colleges under All India Open Merit Seats. So if you are from other states, you can compete for this 15 percentage All India Open Merit Seats. And what is the fee structure as per last year? This is the lowest which is charged by Sri Gokula Medical College which is 7,90,000 in the first year and 7,66,000 from second year onwards. The highest fees is Dr. Mupans, which is 9,42,000 in the first year and 9,02,000 from the second year onwards. Now, this is the fee structure for last year. Generally, Kerala increases the fees every year to take care of the inflation. If you look at last year, they increased the fees about 6% from the previous year. So assuming that they increase the fees again about 6%, so we may expect an increase of about uh, 50,000 to 60,000. So roughly the fees this year may vary somewhere between 8.5 lakhs to 10 lakhs per year, depending on which college you are getting into admission. Of course, on top of this, you also have to add the hostel and mess fees. Now to get a seat in these medical colleges, you should be in the top 1 lakh ranks. If your rank is more than 1 lakh, the chances are low. I'm not saying you will not get it. The chances are low. But if you are in the top 100,000, the chances are reasonably good. Last year, uh, I think the Kerala Private Medical Colleges has closed at around All India rank 80,000 for All India Open Merit Sales. So if you are in the top 100,000, you can give it a try. And if you are interested in this Kerala Private Medical Colleges, you should register with CEE Kerala, Commissioner of Entrance Examinations Kerala. The registration has already closed, but keep a watch, they may reopen the registration. So the college I missed out in the initial recording is Sri Madhusudan Sai Institute, which is located in Karnataka. 
This college offers 50 seats and 20 seats go under government seats for which only Karnataka students can compete. There are 20 private seats, 7 NRI seats and 3 seats that come under others category. Now private seats, uh, there are general merit private seats and open seats. And uh, you can see that government seats only Karnataka students are eligible. And under the private seats also, half of them only Karnataka students are eligible. So if you are a non-Karnataka student, you are eligible only for these 10 seats which come under private seat or open category. For this, anyone can compete. As long as you have cleared NEET exam, that's sufficient. You can compete for these 10 seats. Now, if you are interested in these open category seats, you must register with Karnataka Examinations Authority or KEA. Now, what is the fees for these 40 seats shown here? That is the government seats and private seats. It is zero fees. Including hostel, you don't need to pay anything to study in this particular medical college. Of course, for the NRI seats and others category, it is very expensive, 40 lakhs per year. Hostel is compulsory, but of course, hostel is paid by the college. But you need to take note that you need to serve for five years. Of course, I forgot to mention for many of the colleges mentioned in this video, there are certain requirements related to service obligation. For example, CMC Vellore, there is a two year service obligation. CMC Ludhiana, also there is a two year service obligation. St. John's Mangalore, also there is a service obligation. Except the Kerala private medical colleges, all the other colleges I have discussed in this video, there is a service requirement after completing MBBS degree. So that completes the 22 medical colleges which I wanted to show you. These are the 22 medical colleges in my opinion are less than 10 lakhs per year fees. Some of them are zero, some of them are close to 10, 10 lakhs per year. So look at these options and then see whether you are interested in any of them and whether you have enough score to compete for all these colleges. Thank you. Bye-bye.